Hi, I'm David R. Lewis. Welcome to Theater of the Mind. This passage is from the third book of my Crockett series, Situational Flexibility. Crockett and Cletus discuss that oh-so-scary difference between relationships and commitments. You know, Cleet said, chewing on a toothpick, this ain't easy on old Ruby either. Huh? Her setting up at Ivy's, not knowing what's going on, worrying about you and shit, knowing you're going in harm's way. She's tough, no doubt about that, but tough don't cover this kind of thing. What kind of thing? Y'all got a future now. She don't want to lose that. A future? Yes, sir. No, oh, Christ. Cleet, Ruby and I have always had a future. No, you ain't. You and Ruby's always had a present. Do you have any idea how thick your accent gets when you're being all philosophical? The second you proposed to her, all that changed. You went from a relationship to a commitment. A relationship is now. A commitment leans on the future. That's a whole different thing, Crockett. No, you're full of shit. No, I ain't, and you know it. That's what you've been thinking about when you're talking about all this bravery crap. You feel a commitment, too. Up till now, if you run off and got yourself killed... You and Ruby would have lost what you had. Now, the two of you would lose what you have and what you have yet to acquire. The loss of possibilities, son. Possibilities make all the difference. Look at Inez. Look at the difference that possibilities have made in her life. Well, what about your future with Inez? Crockett said, attempting to shift the focus of the conversation. All that gal don't need no steady diet of Cletus Marshall. But don't get me wrong. I think a lot of her. And who knows what might happen a mile or two on down the road. But if I get too involved with her right now, I can steal her future. I was one of the bunch that rescued Inez. The problem with getting rescued is that it can lead to dependency. Inez needs to learn how to depend on herself and get some kind of grip on who she is. That kind of thing takes time. If she can do it, she'll figure out how much she's worth and how much she can expect for herself. The hell, I might not even measure up. I damn sure ain't the only bull in the pasture, and she needs to know that. <laughs> Shit, Crockett, right now she don't even know there is a pasture. You got all this worked out, huh? I am smarter than Stitch looks, Cleet said. And I'll tell you something else as long as I'm straightening you out. Ruby will give up your future before she'll lose it. Think about it, son. Just not too hard. Remember what that helo flying hippie said about letting women inside your head when there's a mission coming up. Crockett lit a Sherman. Damn. You can find situational flexibility in ebook format at Amazon, Smashwords, and a number of other popular locations. I'm David R. Lewis. Thanks for joining me at Theater of the Mind. See you next time.